everyone, it's me, Nicole Hines, and I know what you're thinking. Why am I here on a Thursday? Well, that's because I'm filling in for Courtney Fromm, and I still have your latest in entertainment news for tonight. Fort Collins will be celebrating Earth Day this Saturday, starting at 11 a.m. in Civic Center Park. There will be fun activities to bring awareness to the current state of the Earth. The activities include local food and beer garden, electric vehicle ride and drive, live music, and so much more. There will be a workshop tent where people can find out more information to help with their clean impact on the Earth. Keeping in mind that Earth Day is tomorrow, our campus here at Colorado State is having its own Earth Day Festival. It will take place at the LSC Garden from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Several different students and faculty will be there to discuss some sustainability efforts that both you and CSU can do to help their carbon footprint. There will be live music by the 14ers, so make sure you swing by. In case you did not know, today is National High Five Day, so I decided to have a challenge between CTV members to see who could get the most high fives within 30 seconds. I'm going to take the advice from my main girl, Oprah Winfrey. I'm just going to give high fives to everybody. You get a high five. You get a high five. You get a high five. I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to straight up ask them, can I have a high five? And they're going to give me a high five. Well, that was fun and no surprise, I won the challenge and I made some new friends. But now I have entertainment anchor I am and I uh, I Anna Cohn here and we are going to have a little friendly competition to see who can get the most Earth Day questions right. We also have Nicole Conklin to ans ask us the questions and our buzzer sound is going to be our names. So are you guys ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. So I'm ready? I yeah. don't forget my name. Question number one. <laughs> when was the first Earth Day? What year? Uh, Nicole, 1970. Correct. Yes. Okay. All right, question uh -oh. two. What American <laughs> river caught fire in 1969, prompting multiple pollution control measures? A, the Scotio River? I think I pronounced that wrong. B, Go the to Fox that. River? <laughs> I didn't. C, the, uh, I can't show you the answer, can you I? can't, no. Probably All right, not. and D, the Colum, I can't talk, Colum uh, River. Nicole. What was C? C was the Chayuga. Chayuga River? <laughs> I'm going to go with Chay Chayuga. You yeah. didn't Emma. Emma. <laughs> Chayuga. Correct. Dang it. We're really good at this. Who it. gave All me right. these words? All right. Question three. Mm -hmm. What 1997 global agreement to reduce greenhouse gases was signed by nearly every county, country excuse me, in the world except for the United States? A, the Kyoto Protocol. <laughs> <laughs> this is mean. The Oslo Accords. The, wow. All right, skipping that one. The Millennium Summit. You can't uh, skip one Nicole. of the questions. The last one? Wrong. Oh, okay. Do you know. have a guess? The a. one I <coughs> Correct. <laughs> <laughs> the That's two for Emma. Protocol. <laughs> All right, question four. Mm -hmm. All right, the worst American that? nuclear disaster in history resulted from a partial reactor meltdown in 1979 at which power plant? A, the LaSalle County Nuclear Generating Station. B, Three Mile Island Nuclear Station, C, Susquehanna Steam Station, and D, Shipping Port Atomic Power Station. Mm, Nicole, this is C, number C, letter number C. C. Incorrect. <laughs> okay. Uh, Emma, D. Incorrect. N Nicole, B. Uh, wait, do you even know what B is? <laughs> I don't know. 
Well, yes, okay. correct. <laughs> Dang it, I was gonna two. go with A if you got it wrong. How many do you have? I have two. two. Okay. Tied. You guys are tied. Bring okay, it, bring question it, girl. five. Okay, in which state did the disastrous Exxon Vald oil spill occur? Nicole, Alaska. Correct. Good job. Three. Good for you, girl. <laughs> All right. Question six. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come in clutch. I'm gonna win. Which car part is it? Dang, Nicole. Okay. You catalytic converters. Wow. I'm impressed. Four. You already Sorry. knew that. <laughs> yeah, we have one more. Oh Final gosh. question of the oh evening. I was prepared. In what year did the U.S. EPA declare greenhouse gases a threat to public health? 1997. <laughs> Do you want me to read the years first? A, 94, <laughs> B, 72, C, 2009, and D, 1985. 1985. Emma, 1985. Incorrect. Um, Emma. <laughs> just give it to Emma. <laughs> 2009. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I won. It. I won the good oh, job. Dang it. But it's good sport. <laughs> but that does it for CTV News tonight. Be sure to tune in next week, Monday through Thursday at 7 p.m. for our final shows of the semester. Have a good night, CSU and Fort Collins.